What's up, everybody, and welcome to the violent game of Risk. I am Logan, aka Laser G, and today we are back to the perfect settings. We are playing some classic progressive Risk. We don't have troops in Australia, first thing I look for, so we like that. It has been a long day, guys. I am not going to lie to you. I am not in the best mood. Let's hope we can win this one and cheer me up just a little bit. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're playing a three-position game here, right? We've got one stack here, we've got one stack in North America, and then maybe we'll create, like, a Europe stack? I don't think we're going to go for a continent in this game. Uh, looks like there could be a big Australia war, so look out for that. And South America's pretty open. I think Black probably goes for it. And Green's got all their stuff in North America and Africa, so maybe Green goes for Africa? Let me go ahead and show you the settings real quick. So we're playing World Domination on the classic map, auto setup, 60 second turn, expert AI, ranked, progressive, balanced blitz, no filtering, so watch out for the noobs with everything fancy off. Yeah, South America. Yeah, called it. Okay. That's fine. I don't mind that, right? Because Black has to hit through a lot of stuff in order to get it. And it's going to force them to play in that one position. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So on our turn, we are going to consolidate this stuff. Uh, see what purple does. Hopefully purple doesn't hit my three. We got to move this three off of Siam as soon as we can. Purple's bad if they hit this three, because that's going to open the door for pink uh, to steal it if they get bad dice. Yeah, no reason to hit that three. You just stay there, because otherwise now... Oh, he's going for it? Okay, purple's real bad. We might just have to shit in purple salad. If purple goes 5v4 here... Oh my god, it's so bad. Okay, well now we're taking Australia. This might not work out well, but I mean, now we're claiming it. <laughs> we're on the Australia play now. Red says well played, mockingly. Yeah, I mean... Question is whether we just straight up take it here. 7? I think we don't. I think we just make a claim for it. Question then is, where's my card? Um, I think my card is in North America. Let's make sure this doesn't get hit. This North America stack actually might be gone soon, because green might be going for it. So I think we do this. Add one here. Try and preserve these threes if we can. Uh, make this attack. And then everything else will go here so that no one's incentivized to hit me. I like this play. Yeah, play it nice and slow, pop, and then fortify everything here. So we are going to be the Australian noob in this game, just because that was such a bad play from Purple. Purple just cleared out everything in Australia and basically handed it to us. So hopefully Purple isn't stupid enough to keep adding in Australia. I mean, if they do and they hit the three, like 4v3, that would actually be great. But maybe they just stubbornly suicide into me. I technically didn't even hit them, though. Okay, red's playing pretty well. Red just gets a card and consolidates some of these threes, I think. No, it doesn't. Okay, maybe not. Wow, pink adds entirely there. That's wild. And card skips as the last position player. Okay, we're not fucking with Australia. There's too many noobs in this game. Purple's a noob and pink is a noob. That is such a bad card skip. I can't even explain how bad of a card skip that is as the last position player. Because pink would get the biggest trade. And now they're going to be a card behind. So that's just so dumb to add everything there in card skip. That, that's like beyond a novice play. That's almost as bad as what purple did. So yeah, I mean, we're going to go back to playing our three position game here. I don't want to fuck with all these noobs in Australia. When, when I thought it was ours for free, I was going to take it. But then pink adding everything there. Like, if you want it that bad, you can have it and fight with purple, hopefully. Watch purple line up on it. <laughs> Purple's going to come back with a vengeance. Okay. Black slowly taking their South America. Don't roll a 5v3, dude. Are we playing with all noobs? <laughs> okay, no, he doesn't. Okay, yeah, watch Purple. Purple's coming back. This is not a 100% roll. Cool, Purple's coming back. I really don't want to block Purple from coming back into Australia is the thing. <sighs> But we can't actually move our 11 yet. And there's kind of nothing anyone can do about the 11, so I think we should be fine for a second there. 
Um, I think I add to this stack here. Try and consolidate these on a future turn. Let's do this. And then move back to that spot. I really like Ontario. If you've seen my other videos, you know I really like sitting in the middle of North America on this territory. So we are going to claim that and play a true three position game. Consolidate these threes again on a future turn. And then we have this big 11 stack. Problem for purple is like there is zero zero chance they ever get Australia, but they're probably committed to trying for it. And they don't give my 11 a road out. Like I would have to hit them. Okay. What does pink do now? I mean, pink's got to be real worried about my 11, right? Like, why wouldn't I just smash them? If I really was a noob, I would just come in hard. Pink makes two attacks there, which is super dumb. No reason to do that. You just make black's life easier. Green is going to slowly go for Africa, despite the fact that there's a red six here. And they move to threaten the six. Okay, so we're playing with a lot of really new players here. I think black is pretty new. I think green is new. We know that purple is new. We know that pink is probably new. I mean, pink could just be blocking me from Australia, and this could be a very high-level play, but I really don't think so. I think everyone is a noob um, other than maybe red, but even red I haven't been very impressed with because they didn't consolidate any of this stuff. They're splitting. Black probably goes through traditional guarding structure. Yeah. Some more Newbery here, but they do hold Australia, or they do hold South America, so good for them, I guess. Can you guys tell I'm in a bad mood? <laughs> oh man, it's been a day. I mean, I think if we're patient, we win this game, hopefully, but I have lost a lot of games thinking that, and then just get randomly slammed. Purple backs off of Australia, probably, right? We see the two fortify onto this two. Purple's almost dead. Yeah, two moves on to that two. So now we leave Australia, I think. We could just hang out here for a second, actually, and scare the shit out of pink and prevent pink from taking. I kind of like that, honestly. I feel like normally I would be very passive and leave, but I do kind of like the idea of being a little bit more aggressive here. Let's do it. Fuck it. I'm, I'm sold. I'm sold on the aggressive play. Make this a 12 so that by the time they finish, that's kind of threatening to them. They might take it anyway. Definitely they could take it anyway. But I do like scaring the shit out of pink here. Especially because they screwed me out of my Australia. So yeah, I'm not going to be nice and move. I want you to be scared that I'm going to come in and be a noob. Red's going to leave. See how many attacks they make. Wow, they make three attacks to leave. Okay, they just hand Africa to green. But green could be in some trouble with black, because I don't think that black is a good neighbor type. I could be wrong. Black and green are incentivized to be good neighbors once green takes their Africa. But you often see this just like random slam. Pink is not going to take it now. And they're going to block my road out. See that? Interesting stuff. I don't think they hit the 12, though, is the thing. So now I'm going to motion to leave and say thanks to pink. But we prevented pink from taking for a while. See if black is a total noob and slams here. Probably not, right? This 10 probably gets the job done in scaring them. But I think there's a chance someone else breaks. Black going 3v1 here would be very helpful. What does black do here? No, 4v1. Okay, black doesn't move. Sure. We know that pink is good because... I mean, not good, but we know that pink isn't completely stupid because they haven't taken their Australia yet. They have been rightfully scared about my 12. So I think by asking them to leave here, they will comply. But we'll see. We've slowed pink down a lot from taking it. Cool, purple rolls, not 100% rolls. And guards green. Sure. Okay, moves off. Uh, do I want to start a war with green? Probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. 
Letting them hold is bad, though. Letting them hold is pretty bad. We are playing with a lot of noobs, though, and green might retaliate and slam me really hard. Which I don't like, obviously. Okay, let's do this. Reinforce these positions a little bit. And then go like this. Hover over this for a second. Right? Just hover this way. And say thanks. And then go a little fist bump to pink, as if I didn't do that aggressively to them. And then we get this card here. Cool. I like this. Yep, looks good. Okay, is red going to break green here? I don't think so. Yeah, red continuing to do, to do some weird splitting in Europe. I think red is slowly going for Europe, but I don't love that play for them. I think by the time they get Europe, if they do, uh, it'll be the time when the kills are happening and they'll just put themselves in one spot. Wow, pink tries to break green. Yeah, pink continues being aggro. And they don't take their Australia. They were just blocking me. That's wild. Green's going to remove pink here. But pink is also here. That was very good, actually. Very good the way that that happened. Green's an over-attacker. That attack was completely unnecessary in North America. Completely unnecessary. Okay. So purple is very, very weak. We need to be lining up on purple here. Purple might just suicide into someone, though. Because they got screwed out of their Australia. So they're probably still salty about that. They might suicide into me, even though I didn't take Australia from them and I never hit them, just because I had a big stack there randomly. But I doubt it. I think, if anything, they probably suicide into pink. Hmm. Black gets a card off of me and consolidates their Asia stack. Probably. Three onto the five, seven onto the five. Cool. Okay, I actually like that play from Black, assuming they're not lining up for an Australia take. We really need to get the fuck out of Siam. That's a very scary place to be. Purple sets early. What does purple do with that? Please don't hit my seven for no reason. Please don't hit my seven for no reason. Cool, it goes the other way. Where are you going with that? Where are you going with the early set, Mr. Noob? Uh-oh. Uh, take South America? What the fuck was that? Okay. Very, very weird play from Purple. Borderline inexplicable play from Purple. Fortunately, they don't sit next to my 7, so I definitely don't want to open the 7 to them. Um, tricky. I don't want to block pink from breaking green again. Uh, I think I just get a card here and then move back. Let's do this. Motion one more time this way. Right, we're trying to leave. See if pink is smart enough to figure this out. Okay, thanks. I just want to go this way and leave you alone now. Let's be friends. I think that was pretty clear, right? Hopefully. I often get comments being like, your signaling is too complicated. I don't think that was very complicated. Motion like I want to attack this way several times and say thanks and do fist pump. I don't really know how else you can interpret that. And we know it's not Pink's first game. Does red go aggressively for their Europe here? Doesn't look like it. It looks like they're still splitting, but they're adding to Japan, so they know it's important to be in more than one spot. Very weird. Like, this Europe stuff is total noobery, but then the Japan stuff is really smart, and Japan's a great territory. Yes, he moves. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Appreciate ya. Okay, green didn't get broken this time. Wonder if green removes pink here. Wow, 
We're going to get a big-ish set. I don't think we can make any kills, though. Yeah, we're going to get the 10. Okay. Green hits pink in retaliation. Uh-oh. Please don't hit my 13 for no reason. Cool, he doesn't. He might have fed me pink, though. Take Australia. I'm very worried about what Black is doing here. I really hope Black doesn't hit my 13 for no reason, but you really never want to be anywhere near Australia, I think. Question is whether we kill pink, right? It's pretty close. The thing that's leading me to think that we should kill pink is the fact that all of their troops are consolidated in one spot. Which means we might get a good roll on them. But I also don't want to sit in Australia. Could also chain it with the purple kill, maybe. Right? So we set, get the 10, kill pink, get the 12. And then we're kind of lined up on purple. Kill purple, get the 15. Maybe we wait until purple has another card. And we try and card block. Or not card block, but oh shit, black botted. Black botted, I think. Okay, so green is going to get broken on, after their next turn by black. Where's purple going? Does purple do something dumb? They just make one attack. I'm going to say well played. Hopefully they don't hit my three. Yeah, cool. They chill there. Sometimes the well plays can be effective. Um... I think we gotta go for the pink kill here. Especially because pink blocked me and I'm kind of in a bad mood. And we can do it. We have to trade in the wild card. That sucks. Uh, Japan, Northwest Territory. I think I want to save India. Um, right. Yeah, I mean, I think we go for it. It's not 100%, but it's close to 100%. So we say, good luck to pink. Use the slider. Okay, what is 25v21? This is 93%, and we get it. Don't get great dice, but we do get it. Cool. Good stuff. Um, okay, set in, I think we go dudes here. Right? Um, and then I do want to move this out of Australia, because I think that purple will probably go for Australia now. So I would rather, I'm going to make this attack, and then I'm going to take all of my troops out, I think. So let's go here, add some troops to this spot. Add some troops to this spot, I think. Couple. Add some here. Make this attack. And sit in India, I think. Yeah, I like this a lot. Okay, make sure we don't run out of time on the fortify. Very important that we leave Australia. Cool. Okay, I like that. We get the pink kill, so fuck you, pink, for blocking me in Australia. You die first. That's awesome. I love killing people in Australia after they fuck with me. There's something particularly satisfying about that in Risk. The, the noob murder. Green's got to be pretty happy about that, but they, they got to be pretty unhappy that I think black is still a bot, right? So they're going to lose their Africa. But they got a lot of benefit out of the Africa play. I think green is pretty good. Because they fed the pink kill, right? They basically fed us the pink kill by hitting pink up here. And they're guarding, like, progressive style, right? They're not doing a traditional guard. So I've liked how green's played so far. What does red do here? They don't break green. Red's afraid. Red's very afraid. <laughs> so here's what I'm hoping happens now. I'm hoping that purple takes Australia and opens up my 12 and or black takes Australia and removes purple and then we can get the purple kill. Do I have a set? I do have a set. Yeah. So we're going to get the purple kill if purple doesn't set in most likely. Oh man, does green bot? What the fuck is happening now? Green's just thinking. Okay, green takes a card and goes back. Not a good play from green. 
not a good play from green because green is blocking their 21 to go this way. It's kind of only a minor thing, but I don't love that play for them. See if black is back. Because uh, black basically botted last time, right? That's why all their troops are like kind of randomly distributed across their territories. I think now they might go for Australia. Yeah, very short-sighted play from black. No, they just kill guard purple. That's a great play if they do that. Move the 7 onto the 14. That's a well-played. Yeah, that's a well-played. Cool. I was considering doing that, but I was just worried about my stack getting slammed. But that's that's a good play for black because they're kill guarding me and purple now. So purple has no idea how lucky they just got. Because they were dead otherwise if black didn't do that. Mm-hmm. Question now is whether we go for the green kill. We definitely set in here. Set is 25. I think we might go for green here. Because we're lined up on them there and there. And that's enough there, I think. Yeah, I think we got to go for it here. Okay, good luck to us. Here we go. We're going for the green kill. This is why holding continents doesn't matter that much. Okay. Hit the 21 first. Okay, get good dice. We got him. Cool. We get the green kill. Awesome stuff. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get the blue kill. Dude's trade. North Africa plus two is very helpful. Uh, I think we're lining up on black and purple. Although black probably gets the purple kill, right? How do we block black from getting the purple kill? That's the question, right? I think this is honestly fine. Yeah, I don't mind this at all. Nice little 42 answer to life, the universe, and everything, and hopefully this risk game, right? But yeah, that's why it's not too important to hold continents in progressive, because uh, green got to hold Africa, which is the best continent, and they die first. They die second, sorry. Pink died first. Forgot, forgot I killed you, Pink. You were very forgettable. What does red do now? Red's probably freaking out. Hopefully they don't just hit my 42 because they're scared. I don't think they do, though. I think they're playing multi-positional. I'm going to say well played. I want to be friends with uh, Red. Come on. Let's be homies, bro. Let's be homies. Yeah. We'll give them Europe. Or at least let them think that we're giving them Europe. Because they think that's important, and it's not important right now. So Black is going to get the purple kill. If they have a set. Do I have a set? I do. Wow. Wait, they don't get the purple kill. We can, we can kill black and purple. Right? Kill black and then kill purple and punish them for that play? Because we're lined up on black now. It's not well played, dude. It's not well played. Black's dead now. Uh, Purple probably sets on four is the thing. And purple might slam into black really hard in Australia. Very curious how purple plays this if they have a set. They do have a trade. If purple didn't have a trade, I think I would win. Because I would kill black and then kill purple with my set. But yeah, see, this is what exactly what I thought. Purple still salty from the first turn that they didn't get their Australia. And watch them hit the 21. Watch them hit this 21. Come on, do it. Hit 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 it. You have to. Oh my god, they don't. Frustrating. Okay, I think we still kill black, though. Yeah. I think we still kill black here. Because black has 48 and 4. We would sit on 5 cards, is the thing. But I don't think... Purple definitely can't fuck with us if we do that. I don't think. I mean, it's a big decision, but I, I don't think our opponents are good enough. It's really close. 
Red might be good enough to kill us. 25's everywhere. 25 is blocked here. I think I go for it. Yeah, I think I just go for it. Okay, we gotta move pretty fast now, but I think we got him. Okay, here we go. Okay, get the black kill. Everyone's gonna break my stuff. But, that's fine. We'll just make this really annoying here. I think there's a very good chance that red kills us now, but red is not super well lined up on us. So let's give red another fist bump. Hopefully they're confused, right? Red is the only shot. Purple says good game. It's not a good game, though, is the thing. Let's give another fist bump to red. Red's moving too slowly, so red already didn't get the kill here. Come on. Let's be cool. Come on. Come on. Let's be chill. Okay, I'm gonna give him a well played and hopefully he stops there. Okay, he's going for my kill and he's not gonna get it. No, he just breaks me. Okay. And then he hides his 23. Another bad play. Right now he's not open. I'm gonna cry and be like, now red is in charge. And I hope purple slams into red. Okay. What? Why? Break red. Break red. Cool. What's the set now? Set is 45. I don't think we make a kill. I think we wait until one of these guys... I think we wait until purple's on four. Yeah. Okay, this is what we do. We don't do much. Um, Urkutsk or Ontario? I think Ontario. Actually, no Urkutsk, because then we can use Ontario later. Okay. So I think all we do is this. And then we're open in both directions, right? Okay, let's do this. Use the slider. Often with these big stacks, if you don't use the slider, you get totally screwed and lose like five on a one, which is crazy. I'm gonna pretend like I'm a noob and I'm just guarding, right? I'm pretending like I'm a noob and I'm just guarding South America, but actually I just wanted to have two stacks that are lined up on the rest of the board, and now I'm open to everyone. So these guys are both super dead now. Red not going all in on killing me with five cards, which I was I was just banking that Red wasn't good enough to do that. That's, that's game, right? Because now I'm in a commanding, commanding lead. Red really stupidly opens up purple. So I'm going to do this face. Yeah, and they don't even retake. Interesting. They're hiding more troops. What's funny is that these are the best territories to be in in the early game, Madagascar and Japan, because people can move past you and you're just kind of hiding out, like inoffensively. Purple has a uh, trade on three. I wonder if purple kills red here. Because red just punched them, right? So I think purple is going to hit red as hard as they can right now. And then I kill red. Right, 56 v 23? Or no. Purple does almost nothing? A rare good play from purple? Wow, good play from purple, dude. Good play from purple. Okay, they consolidate and make one gigantic, terrifying stack in Siam. Interesting play. Interesting. Gotta kind of respect it, honestly. Okay. Sure. So we have enough to kill red here. Uh, if we kill red, what's the set? Set is 55. Kill red, and then purple maybe can kill us? Ugh, I kind of don't think he can, though. I feel like he's too slow. Uh, because otherwise purple could get the red kill. Let's try and block purple from getting the red kill, I think. Right? Hmm. Yeah, 
I like that play. Uh, where can we kill guard red? I think we do it right here. Nice. Okay. Curious how uh, purple plays this. Red sets on 3-2. What does red do with the set on 3? Everyone's setting on 3, which is preventing me from doing anything. Oh my god, I don't have a set on 4. Holy shit, am I going to lose this game? No way, right? There's no way. I had such a big lead. No set on 4 is brutal, though. But I don't think that purple is good enough to kill me. And I don't think red is correctly hunting me. Yeah. Red's just worried about uh, bonuses right now, I feel like. Okay, they go back. It's better. Interesting. But I don't think red is strong enough to kill me because their troops are too spread out on the board. Purple's going to break my South America. Lol. Okay. An asshole until the end, purple. Good for you. I mean, no set on four is fucking crazy here. Uh, and we're not even lining anyone up because it's not worth it to kill anyone right now. So, this is literally all we do. This is all we have to do. Uh, actually, I want to go... Do I want to go that way? Yeah, I'll go that way. Lose a troop. Um, yeah. Okay. We have a nice little 103 stack. These guys are still worried about bonuses. I don't think any of them can kill me, right? Our stack is too big. Maybe purple can, but I kind of doubt it. I don't even think purple is thinking along those lines. Yeah. Cool. So we're now lining up purple on four cards, I think. That's our next play, is kill purple on four. This is the big turn. Does purple try and kill us right now? I don't think they have enough. Right? Because they would have to hit my 103 and all of this other random stuff. And like because they broke me here, that actually makes it harder for them. Because it makes more discrete pockets of me that they have to add to. Yeah, so they don't even go for it. I don't think, right? They just take South America? What are they doing here? Okay, they do nothing. That was their chance to kill me on five. But they weren't. They're not. They're just not good enough to do that. Cool. Rare time when uh, sitting on four cards doesn't kill you in this situation. So now we're lining up purple. Um, so we need to hit them out of this there. So we'll get lined up on them here, right? And then this is the other little pocket of them. So this needs to be more. This needs to be like that many or so-ish, right? Something like that, maybe even a bit more. And then this needs to be even more. Uh, that doesn't even need to be that many, right? That can be like this, I think. And then the rest of it here. Cool. Okay, so now we're very much lined up on purple. And then fortify the three. Cool. Okay. Purple's dead if they don't have a set on three here. Sets are pretty big, right? Sets are 65. Uh, I was making sure that we had enough to kill purple even without another set on three. It is risky, right? Because if we kill purple on four, then red might be able to kill us on the next turn. Because we'll be sitting on five cards. We'll set in, but we'll be sitting on five. I'm just banking on the fact that red isn't good enough again. Remember we banked on that last time when red probably should have killed us, but I was just like, oh, you're not good enough. Okay, I'm confused about what red is doing right now. Red's taking South America, maybe? Yeah, red's way too worried about these bonuses, dude. That just like, that just helps everyone else, honestly. That, make, that makes no sense, right? Because he's like closing himself off and he doesn't even finish it. So I normally would say he was, like, kill guarding me here, but, like, he's not even because he moved that stack. So nothing about how red is playing makes any sense. Uh, and I'm kind of happy to get into the 1v1 with them. 
And I'm very happy to kill this asshole of purple. Yep. Cool. Okay. Uh, good game, purple. That's that. Okay. I'm not gonna slide her except on the big one. This guy. Hope for good dice here. Yeah, that's not bad. Leave an 8 in there. Okay. And then this guy. Get the purple kill. Now we hit red as hard as we can. Uh, yep. Red says good game. I don't know that it is, but we'll see. See if we can hit you out of here. And then hit you out of here. Um, yeah, alright. Let's try this. Uh, so we'll go down with this one. Make sure the slider's off. Yeah, it's basically off. Cool, get him there. We'll slider on this guy. Not bad. Uh, leave a couple behind here. Nice. Okay. Looks good. Good game. Cool. Red knows it. GG. Well played. And we set. And we win. Feels good. Yeah, I mean, that was ultimately kind of predictable. Uh, just because we weren't playing with good players. But there were a couple moments there when it actually made sense for them to kill us. When we were sitting on five cards. But, yeah, I mean, works out. <laughs> Can't complain about that result. I am feeling a little bit better. Let's see the ranks. We are playing Novice Beginner, Novice Beginner, Master! Wow! Pink was a master and chose to block me in Australia. Very interesting play from a master. I can't say that I like it, and Pink did die first, but I mean, it kind of makes sense. I think everything else they did was smart, and I guess blocking me from getting Australia was kind of smart, but it was a very, very risky play. Ultimately, I don't think it made sense. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm sorry about being in a bad mood, but I hope you had some catharsis with me. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel so you can see more. I promise I'll be in a better mood next time, and I will see you there.